Well, parents and students of a dozen New York City Catholic schools are scrambling after news that 12 schools are shutting down at the end of the year. Several other schools will be merging with others. CBS News' John Diaz has reaction this noon from families. I'm sad. Fifth grader Alexis Garcia is full of sorrow this Thursday. She just found out her Catholic school, Immaculate Conception School on East Gun Hill Road in the Bronx, is closing at the end of the year. While her father is also upset, he's stressed too. He has to find new schools for his three kids. I am disappointed. And now we gotta look for a new school. This mother was in shock when we told her the news. We don't know what we're gonna do next year. We were planning to go here for kindergarten. For almost 70 years, the school has been a place for kids to learn. This woman cried when she found out its new fate. It's has been home for us for the last 20 years. My nieces and nephew, my kids graduating from here, one that is graduating this year. It's really sad. A lot of time, one of the best schools in the Bronx. According to the Archdiocese of New York's announcement yesterday, the Bronx is seeing the most closures. Six schools will be shutting their doors. And while no Catholic schools will be shutting in Queens, five will be closing in Manhattan and one on Staten Island, which is St. Christopher's School. And then in the Bronx, four Catholic schools will be merging into two schools. This goes against every ounce of energy and hope. Uh, that we've got. But Cardinal Timothy Dolan saying on the news outlet, the good news room, it must be done. And the reason for the changes is a residual effect of the COVID pandemic. Officials saying enrollment was already down in certain Catholic schools, but the pandemic made it even worse. It is only in the long run going to strengthen and enhance the magnificent schools that we got. Some families we spoke with wish the schools gave them a heads up, so maybe they could have prevented this. They could have said something, we could have chipped it and try to help some kind of way. And school leaders saying that they will be working very closely with all the families impacted by this news to ensure that their students are able to get into a neighboring Catholic school by the fall season. From the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.